Okay, Maria, which way does it tend to push? More this way, more this way? More this way, yeah. More to the right, yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. And what's your inspiration? Can you show me? Oh, the phone, oh, the phone is over there. <laughs> we'll bring it over. Yeah, we'll bring it over, yeah. <laughs> it was far away. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, we're long layers. Um, hey, this looks good. Yeah, this looks really cool. Um, I'll show you some more. Like, you know, a little bit of like the longer side swept bangs, not so much that. And then so we'll do a long one. bang and yeah. oscillate. Yeah. Like this is good. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, good. So, first thing we'll do is we're going to layer it, and then we're going to do the bangs. So, we'll keep the, the front long, and we'll do the sweepy bangs. So, we'll cut with a razor. It's right in the finger, just it's the thumb that moves. Let's get right in here. We're going to do this parting kind of on the side, angle it backwards, and now we'll take a nice clean section. I think you might be on the wrong side, Rebecca, Richie. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Everybody's in my way. There you go. You're on the right, right side now. <laughs> She's on the right side now. Good. Let's keep it long because we'll put the bang in last. So now we're just going to start to just melt. The most important thing here with this is to comb the hair kind of more downwards as opposed to forward. If you comb it forward, you cut more of the length off. If you comb the hair straight down, then you just melt the hair away. Section number two. Haley Covington says good morning. Good morning, Haley. Nick York says aloha. Nikki, thanks for all your help in uh, California. We just had a very successful trip to the west coast, fresh off the plane. I was in uh, Melrose for two, uh, two days, I'm in West Hollywood there, teaching class. We had a very successful Happy Mondays and then we went down to uh, San Diego with a great event with Anthony Edge, the Edge Academy. So we've been busy. You can catch us this week, Monday, Happy Mondays in Philadelphia. We're doing a special pop-up Happy Mondays at Barnet Fair. So if anyone's around, you can come and see us in, uh, in Philly for a little bit of uh, education and inspiration. So fine teeth of the comb, keep the hair nice and clean, nice and taut. Just melt that hair away. I've got two cuts for you today. This one's the wet cut, and the next one's going to be more of a dry cut. Look how we can keep all the length. As I've continued to work back, I start to over-direct this hair forward and elevate. Looking through the hair. Look for your guide. There is a guide right there. It's kind of the first lesson that we teach when you come to a Razor Fundamentals class. A little bit of layering. We had a great class in California, 18 people on the class, it was busy, it was fun, I had some great students, all stylists with many years of experience, some business owners, pretty spectacular. Michael says he's bummed he missed you in California, when are you there next? Oh, I'm coming back again, Michael, and uh, I'll be back again in, um, I think, September with L'Oreal. Keep an eye on Rojo Social, it'll let you know. I'll keep an eye on my Instagram. I'll let people know. Sorry I missed you too, we had fun, it would have been great. Happy Mondays was a lot of fun, it would have been great to see you buddy. Always make sure you comb right into the base. This is called an open stroke. Just softly melting that hair away. Bronkin says, greetings from Alligator Alley. Hey, buddy. Lisa Power says, good morning. Michael says, see you in Vegas. <laughs> I'm not going. I'm not <laughs> going to Vegas. I'm not allowed in Vegas anymore. <laughs> I think Vegas is the Cosmoprof show, but we're not going to go to that. We have too much to do here in... Uh, on the East Coast. So you'll see, just really, notice how now the hair is being pulled forward. 
it has been elevated because right now we're just pulling it down we won't be putting any layers into the uh, into the back so that's once you start to get your guide and you start to do that and you can let the layers get longer towards the back because that way you'll still have a little bit of weight remember once we've got the front a little shorter for the sweepy bang it's going to change the way in which the whole shape looks so you have to judge your elevation this all comes down to classic cutting and uh, if you're interested i am teaching a classic cutting class here with scissors first you've got to learn the scissor then you have to learn the razor Lisa Hauser says, see you next week. Oh, oh, very good, Lisa. I look forward to it. Alexis says, good morning. Good morning, Alexis. Hope you're doing good. Hopefully, we'll see you in Philly, too. Nice sign, by the way. So there's one side. I've been done with the layers. We are going to clean the length up, but I'm going to lay, lay the other side first. Ooh, I'm going <laughs> Okay, second section. Come through here. Let's follow it through exactly the same. I'm going to grab that piece over. We'll keep it nice and long to begin because we do the bangs at the end. That'll be the last piece, the long sweepy bang. And it's going to change the shape as well once we put the bangs in. So you notice this is quite quick. Literally 10 minutes in, already on the second side. This will take about another seven or eight minutes. Comb that hair straight down, in. Just feed the hair into the, into the blade. Just have a little lock and see. Very good. Section two. Sherry Fontaine says hi. Hey, Sherry Fontaine. David Bray says good morning. Good morning, David Bray. Jennifer Scott says hi, Nick, from Cape Corral. Cape Corral. Awesome. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Keeping the hair nice and low. Scoop, comb the hair down and around. In. There you go. In. Use the flat of the blade to melt that hair away. Jennifer Scott asks, Nick, have you ever thought about a foam dry shampoo? Uh, I have. But you know what? I also think that, um, I think there's innovation in product. I think that's good. But I also believe that, you know, we have a very good range of product. And uh, we're working on some innovation in our product. A foam dry shampoo is a great product. So just stay tuned and see what comes next. A lot of manufacturers just keep on bringing out more and more new product. It's a way to generate sales and it's a way to create increase. I understand how it works. For me as a business owner, as a brand, as a product brand, my idea is not to choke the salons with new product all the time. So I think that, you know, really assessing how we bring out new products is the most important thing. But I like that idea and I also like a pace, which is good. And I also like different things, but we also have a lot of new uses. We also have a lot of varying uses for the products that we have. You know, if you think about it, you don't need to have a hundred products. Yeah, I think if I look at a Rojo product, I look for the holes, if there's any space. And I also am looking at innovation. So that's something that we're very conscious of. But keep putting your ideas forward because we like that. Follow that in, there's your guide right here. So down, around, open stroke with the blade, just melting that hair away. Great combing. And just lightly tickling that hair into the nape. Hair forward, melt that hair away. I'm going to start to work the top of the head now, so now what I try to do is I'm going to pivot all the way around. Elevate and melt. So I'm just elevating 
I'm just using the flat plane of the blade to just melt that hair away. Now you can see the over direction. Once you get past the ear, you can start to do a lot of over direction, a lot of elevation. We'll have a little touch point right now, which means that I'll be checking to see where it actually fits on the other side. So we'll stand in front, just have a look, pull it forward. We kind of have a feel. Looks good. Continue on. When you do it, an angle of parting, the angle of parting helps you to end up in the center. It does have to be balanced, your shape. It's very important to have a very balanced shape. Lisa says, I can't wait to get a rojo on my shelves next week. Great, Lisa. We can't wait neither. And we can't wait to see you. Coming all the way from the West Coast. You're going to have a great time. We are going to have a great time here in New York. We have our Ambassador Artistic Team training. We have a couple, you know, great elements to our training. We're super excited for it. Right, make sure you get right at the root. Notice that? That's why it's the precision. Gotta get right in at the root. Right, now I'm gonna come to the opposite side. Bless you. There's a sneeze in the background. We're gonna end up in the center. So it's perfectly balanced. Coming all the way over. So you can kind of see what happens is you cut your hair here, but the layer ends up back here. So you cut your hair here, but the layer ends up back here. So you got to, it's not where you, it's where the layers end up. That's what you got to focus on, it's where the layers end up. Flat plane of the blade. Mounting through. Go. Put that down. Give me my scissors. Nice. So now what we'll do is we'll do a little scissor work right at the bottom. Because we don't need to razor it. <laughs> you doing okay there? Practicing. You're practicing, I can see that. It's good. It's nice to do a little combo. She's got fine hair, so it's nice to do a combo. Scissor razor. Right in here. Nice. I can take quite a healthy section there because I'm not going to take a lot of hair out. Just going to take a little. Just nice point cutting. Practice great combing. There it is, just going to lighten that up. Notice how we're letting this hair slowly dry out, which again is another important piece when you're working with hair because you want to see the natural texture. That's what you want to see, you want to see the natural texture in the hair. Aaron Sachs says, Nick, time for a colored frock. Yes. Erin Sachs. You've been saying that for a while, kidder. Point cutting in, point cutting in, just having the top blade. One blade moves, one blade stays steady. Almost done with the length because we're going to hit the layers in a second and then we go into the old bang bang to the boogie. The bangs. <laughs> Sarah Goveman says, hey Nick, miss you in New York. Yes, yeah, Sarah, I thought we'll see you soon. A little point cutting, keep it nice and real. Let's drop this all down now. There you go, you see just a little, just through the center, just a little comes through. And then it's time for the bangs, and then uh, Olivia's gonna make her look fantastic. Oh, Melissa. Oh, I'm Olivia. 
<laughs> and they have a changing name. Point cut all the way through. Straight back. In. And it's all the way back. And in. Because now I'm going to elevate this hair back with a scissor, knock out a little corner. Should be a little corner right in here. But we just want to knock it out. It's just going to lighten the outside. Morgan so, says, "Hey Nick, see you next weekend for the Ambassador Art Team." Yeah, it's going to be great, Morgan. Thanks so much for uh, getting to spend some time with us. We're so excited. A lot of preparation to do before then the training but it's, I know it's going to be a fantastic time we've got people coming from all over the country so it's going to be a very exciting time all the way in melt that hair away this is not even going to get there let's just try this piece on this side my stand over here Teach my classic cutting class, that's what we're going to focus on. Body position, where to stand, how to create classic shape with a scissor. Only makes your razor cutting better once you become a once you become a great scissor cutter, you can become a great razor cutter. The great scissor cutter is gonna be uh, it's gonna be the focal point. Brian Waldron says good morning, Brooklyn. Hey, Brian. Even though we're in Soho. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be back in Brooklyn next week. We fixed the... Uh, we had some adjustments to our connection speed. So hopefully next week we'll be in back in Brooklyn. We don't like it when it's blurry, so hopefully the picture's good. Okay, hydro this please. And then we need, we need some wave mist, and we're going to need some, uh, we're going to need a little bit of uh, cream wet. So you know it's styling cream. Styling cream to give it a little bit of structure. So now what we'll do is we'll do like a little bit of a long sweeping there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the section. We're going to go a little slightly off center. So we can get our section in. So I'm just kind of knocking it off to the side. Come through here. It's one. I want to take the temple area in. So again, we teach this on our razoring classes. If you come to our fundamentals razoring class, it's what we teach. So there's your section, nice triangle. And now what we do is we're gonna take out some of the weight here and some of the weight here. I'll enable the hair to swing on. There you go, right in here. Back of the blade. All the way down to the length. Keeping the length in the center, this creates space for the for the bangs to swing. Head forward, back of the blade, and melt that hair away. Keeping it nice and long in the center because the center is the area that gives us the swing, that gives it the sweep. So we are keeping it on the longer side here, which is nice. And I think you'll see that this is a lot of fun. Kind of gives her what she wants. Section three. <clears throat> Forward, back of the blade. Forward, 
the heel or we call it the back of the blade smooth that away so i've worked across one side next time let's come the other side i'm gonna elbow you in the, in the <laughs> chest kid yeah i'm still gonna elbow you so, i want to be on purpose let's make that a little bit wider let's keep a little bit of hydro mist in the hair Yeah, straight down, right here, straight down, all the way down to the front. Tim Bricker says good morning. Good morning, Tim. Thanks for all your posting on the Rojo Social, Tim. Fantastic job. Keep up the great work. Way down. And there's the sweep. Take this out. Okay. That's done. All the way down, so you've got like this length through the center. Sweet. Final section. So stay around. We got one. We got another haircut for you in a second. Olivia is going to blow dry here, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a dry cut for you next. And I'm just going to thin this out just a little, make it a little bit lighter. We call this tipping, just a little tipping through the hair. Just to create some lightness, some softness. Makes the hair a little bit more transparent. Karen says hi from Heathrow. Hey Karen, hope you have a safe journey home. I hope you have a nice flight. Time is it now in Heathrow? In London? Yeah, it's it's but in London it's not. Oh, oh, in London yeah. it's more. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pick up the scissor for a final touch. So we don't want to weigh it down no more. We just want to kind of like now just maybe look at it and refine it a little bit. The scissor. So if it's 10.25 in Heathrow, it's going to be like 3.25, 3.30. Time she flame leaving, Karen. She said 3.30 p.m. Oh, good. So, soon. Just a little bit of texture in. Feel good? Mm -hmm. Later. Later. <laughs> getting long. Kate says, hey Nick, Kate from New Hampshire, desperate for a cut. Hey Kate. Pauline says, good morning. I'm here, if you need me. <laughs> I'm not in New Hampshire. I am coming up though, though, to teach a razor in class. Uh, my friends, the Barber's Den. If anyone wants to learn razor cutting, I'm doing a one-day razor class in early August. Check it out. It's $400 for the day. Learn the razor with, with me. Elevate it all the way up. Point in. You want to get a robe on my next young lady? So the Hydro Mist is a nice lightweight spray conditioner. We're now going to apply a little bit of structure to the hair. 
as in not the product structure, we're going to put a little bit of uh, styling cream, which is a lightweight but a little bit medium hold kind of gel. And then we're going to kind of maybe curl it a little bit, yeah, with the blur dry. I'm going to I'm going to mix it in with uh, some. Uh, do you want to give it a styling cream or a styling whip? Yeah. First off, we'll layer it in with a little bit of the wave mist. Which is a great lightweight blow drying spray. It's going to add a little bit, it's like a sea salt spray. It's just going to dry it with a brush today. So this is going to give the hair a little bit of structure. And then this is the styling cream, which is a liquid. Take about that much in the hair, work it through. That's going to give it a little bit of hold. We need to give it a little bit of hold. Do you have a brush? You'll do it like a little twisty with that, yeah? Yeah. So she's going to use the flat brush. You want to show everybody the flat brush? There she is. There she is. There she is, your little flat brush. And she'll twist, blow dry it to get kind of like that beachy wave. And we're going to go and wallop off my next client. Wallop. <laughs> we have some clips there. That's great. Todd Dowell says, good morning. It's been forever. Where have you been, Todd? Where have you been, Where have you been Todd? Nikki says, thanks for the styling tips. Nikki, the best. All right, let's go over here. Let's start on my next model. I've got my scissors. So I've got my razor. I've got my hydro mix. Marielle, is that right? Yes, Alright. What's your idea? So I think I'm going to go short. Like this? Yeah, a little bit of a chop. A little bit of a chop. So yep. <laughs> we're going to do this dry. I think it'll be more fun. You'll be able to see the texture more too. Feels like it was washed when? This morning. Yeah? Good. So she's got a natural texture in her hair. It's pretty. So the idea is, is we're going to kind of sit this in. So let's go with our dry approach. Got my clips. And I'm ready to go. You can always have your hydro mist handy. It's a nice lightweight spray. It's not going to wet the hair down, especially let's see how fine the mist is. It's just going to help add a little bit more of the glycerin and slip into the hair. Got it. Got the top tin. Section the hair. Let's take our first section underneath. Approaching the hair dry can always be uh, good because it's a different process, different way. You're still going to be very methodical about how you approach it. I'm going to take just the sections and I'm actually going to cut them by splicing down. So I'm taking small panels, square sections, and I'm coming down the hair shaft, splicing the hair with my scissor. So I'm not scraping the hair, I'm actually cutting the hair. So there's no scrape, it's a cut. So we get this foundation line in, it's the most important. You want to keep it clean. So once you kind of cut it, we're just going to refine it. Refine it. You can elevate. When you cut the hair dry, you're working with it's the length that it's going to be. So the good news is, the length that it's going to be, we can tell because there's no shrink to the hair. And you're working with the hair in a natural state, so that means that you actually really can see, you know, how the hair works. Todd says, I've been working, 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 not so hard. You've been working, 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 what? Not so hard. Not so hard. Yeah, I've been the complete opposite. I've been working, 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 very hard section down, now you've kind of got your baseline in, 
Again, same kind of concepts here. Twist, slice it down, come the hair down, take a panel, work it down. You never slide in the scissor down the hair. When you slide the scissor down the hair, I'm actually cutting so you'll notice how it cuts. And then I always like to check for little fine little pieces. So coming up this weekend in New York, we have our uh, little barbering jam on Sunday with Mr. Paul Merritt, a little barbering jam. We're excited for that. If you're interested, you want to come by, go to uh, rojopro.com and RSVP. It's a free, free barbering jam, if you, even if you want to come and do a, a haircut with us. You can definitely do that. We'll have a little soiree in our Tribeca location on Sunday. It's called The Buzz. And then on Monday, I'll be traveling out to Philadelphia to do an event at a Barnet Fair. With two great owners out there, it's going to be a lot of fun to be back in Philadelphia, which we love. We're just back from the West Coast. Spent two days in California. Actually, three days in California. We did a, a razor class. We did a uh, Happy Mondays in California, in LA. We had an American Wave certification in LA. And then we had a great time down in San Diego working with my friend Anthony. I'm trying to spread our message, professional hairdressing. I've got the white teeth of the comb now, keeping it loose. Point cutting in, you know, you get your shape in there. Have a look. You want to kind of keep a little bit of looseness. You comb it down, you'll see how loose it is. You want it just off the shoulder but not too sharp. So by cutting the hair dry, now we are not stretching the hair out, but we are smoothing the hair out because of the combing. She has a little bit of natural texture. Obviously in the summer, in this humidity, it shrinks up more. In the winter, probably is a little bit flatter. Next section, keep your sections nice and clean. Cut hair, not corners. It's our tagline. Run that hair down. Just pinch and piece. Pinch and piece. Pinch and piece. So you can see the scissor moving. And then I always like to, once I've cut it, I'll pick it out and then I'll just point cut. It can sometimes even come from the back side or from the inside. Again, always cutting, never scraping. Don't let it get too long. Be a little bit aggressive if you can. You don't want it to be too short, but you also don't want it to be too long. Yeah, you leave it too long. She was look, you know, you gotta kinda of judge your client when you're doing a change. When she's cutting her hair, you gotta judge your client. You know? So kind of like you'll get that sense of whether it's right or whether it's wrong. You should know. That's what you learn as a longtime stylist. You kind of learn the behavior, the mannerisms of people when you're in the salon cutting. What I mean by that is, there is an energy transfer when you're in the salon and you're changing somebody's hair. Obviously, you've been doing their hair for a long time. That energy transfer is very understandable. If they're brand new, you have to work, work it out. And you can see that's right, just right at the top of the shoulder, which is fab. 
it's thick hair, but it's not super thick. Okay, she has thick hair, it's not super thick. Now I'm going to elevate it, comb that out, and I'm just going to point cut on the line. You don't want to have it so it's too messy. Still got to have structure in your shape. So we're just breaking that out. Practice really great combing. Nice to change your approach. In other words, don't. it's always good to kind of do combination scissor, razor, wet, dry, texturizing, shear. Learn all the different ways in which you can be creative. Scoop it back and in. Juan can ask, do you ever change cut designs in the middle of the cut? How to handle the decision? Well, Ron, I think what happens is if, uh, if it's not working, you'll change it. It's not about discussing it with your client. Because if you discuss it with your client, you're going to look like you're uh, less confident. So I think if it's not working, you never have to tell your client what you're doing. You've already decided what you're going to create. You've already agreed upon a plan, a process. You never have to kind of like check in and say, I want to change this, I'm going to change that. But if I do something and it's not working, then I'm going to change it real quick because I've got 45 minutes to make the decision to make it good. 45 minutes. Tipping in, lifting, tipping in, right in there. See what happens right there, it's great. Take out the clips. All right, looking good. Okay, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to section it to here. Take this. And clip it out of the way. Alright, so I'll come back. Take this side, I'm going to clip it out of the way. so we can kind of see. Now we're going to layer the back of the scissor, lift the hair straight out. I'll drop the head the chair down. Head up. Great. There's your guide right here. First I'm going to cut my line in. And I'm going to Move, rotate, and soften. Patricia says, I missed the first part. What haircut are you doing? I am doing a long bob. A very light layer. So it's more graduated as opposed to layered. It's going to be quite heavy feeling, short to around just above the collarbone, right in here, you see right there. Softening out those ends. Nice thing, even though I'm working with my, typically my razor comb, the reason being this is I've got space, I've got the space with the combing, with the wider teeth. All the way back. All the way in. There you go. Texturizing, see that? Just like little texturizing the ends. 
elevating that up. Find your man. Patricia says you make it look so easy. Well, after all these years, it should be easy enough. Thanks, Patricia. Now, right now, you can kind of see the length that you've got. You can kind of see the length that you're creating. That's why I clipped out the top, so we could kind of have a look and see the kind of length we've got. I'm on this side now. white teeth of the comb to begin with and comb the hair out and right the way here now working with a scissor you have to flip the way you work one side you work up one side you work down when you work with a razor you have a little bit more flexibility on that benefits of the razor there's a benefit to the scissor too melt that hair away once you've cut the length in, you can lift it out and you can just still keep the length but just soften the ends. Lift that straight up. Dry cutting is kind of good because uh, it's different. It's different, you focus in on a different element. You're working with a different, it's a different fabric because it's dry as opposed to wet. So like on my last cut, I was working on a wet fabric. All hair when it's wet kind of feels the same. But when the hair is dry, it can change radically. Depending on the amount of moisture, the amount of texture, the condition, the health of the hair. Bring it down to begin, then we'll all about it out. Leah says, I love the volume. Got a lot of volume. She was at the front of the, of the line. We're never giving out volume. So I'm pointing in. Now notice how my scissor points straight in. I'm gonna bring that straight down too. Lift this straight out. Elevate this straight up. Pauline asks, what is the texture of her hair? Oh, it's, it's, she's got medium density, fine hair with a nice light wave. That's how I describe her hair. She's got, you know, a, a lot of, a lot of nice hair, beautiful. It's 
fine, fine in texture, slight wave, but real nice density. Remember, this is freshly cleaned, but we're cutting it dry. So it's nice to kind of, you know, it's better to cut it when it's clean as opposed to dirty, even if you're cutting it dry. Can be a great tip to use, even if you're in the salon someday, your client comes in late or comes in early, and you wanna still get that client moving, you have options in the salon. Change your approach, keep yourself focused, keep yourself engaged. If you do everything the same way all the time, it just ends up getting kind of mundane. You don't want to be mundane. You want to make sure that you uh, constantly te test yourself. You gotta test yourself before you test yourself. <laughs> Working nice, the wide section of the cone. We're on the backs of the fingers now. I'm literally on my guideline. You can see the guide, it's right here. If I comb it back. It's maybe hard to pick up on the, on the internet. But I am following a guideline right here. Elevate, elevate and soften. start to get in control of your shape. It's nice to use clips to keep cleanness, but once you start working a little bit more free form, no need for clips. Working up to the part, you push his pushes it over to her left. So in a minute we'll go there. That's about we're at the right place to stop on this side. Not necessarily finished, but the right place to stop because we do need to do a little bit of a little bit more action in and around the face. But it's basically putting in length. Twist it, flip it, head over. Melt that hair away. Keep it down, you see I'm right on the, on the collarbone right there. Section, flip. Pull the hair back. Nice and low. Check the length right now. So we're gonna head up straight, kind of clean that out of the way, just have a look. We can check the length right now. It's pretty good. Forward, pretty good. 
you just check it. Sometimes when you work with dry hair, you've got to make sure if there's some, some will comb out more than the other. A little bit less consistent than curly. I mean, the wet. Point it in. Put it out. Point it, put that in. I'm working with a wide teeth of the comb. Lots and lots of fine point cutting into the hair. Allowing that hair just to fall away. Wide teeth. Comb the hair up. Oops, point cut right away in. Not too deep to get your line, and then if you want, you can go deeper once you've got your line to add a little bit more texture. You can go deeper. If you, the more you elevate it, the softer you're going to make it. You get your length in first, and then you get your texture. And we will be applying products to the finished look. We'll be styling it, and that's where we can have a bit of fun with our products. Teeth of the comb. Texturize that hair out. Head back. Look and shake it. See the shape of the gut. Practice really good combing, guys. Oh, texturize that in. Get them cutting a scissor cutting class. That's August the 4th, classic scissor program if you want to learn scissor cutting. Come and see me for a week, it's a one week class. Gretchen asks, what products would you use if you're going to let it air dry? Which would you use if you're going to blow it out? Oh, wow, as a range. I was going to blow it out probably something like a uh, styling whip. A great blow dry product for this hair. It's got the argan oil in it, would give it some nice condition as well as uh, smoothness and shine. A little shine like soil maybe added to that would be awesome too. Natural, well, you'll see, you know, we've probably wave mist, cream whip. They're two great products for more of that natural dry. Wave mist and cream whip combined. I'm going to be doing it slightly differently today because we're going to layer some products in and see how it goes. We're going to play. And I think that's also fun to play around, see what else you can achieve. It needs to, it needs to kind of be able to have kind of like movement to it. Kind of the general shapes in, it's going to be a lot of refining. And then product. See, I'm going in like now quite deep with the scissor. Right, so now we're kind of getting that idea. 
this is good here, so we're gonna just knock out the corner a little bit right here. It'll just add a little bit more texture. Olivia's back to help us. <laughs> Take a section here. A little pieciness. Take a section here. So coming from behind and just splicing through. You just have to engage in a slightly different you know, at a place in your brain when you're doing this kind of stuff. It's, you know, when you're kind of sketching in the cut with a scissor. It's less architectural and a little bit more feel. So, you know, when you're doing this, if you've got good architectural skills, as in the architecture of hair cutting, then this kind of generates and creates kind of a different feel, a different finish for you. Getting that hair in. Again, you gotta look at the hair because you can see what happens with the hair as we cut it. We're kind of creating a little bit of fuzziness. So you go, look at that move, that's the special, the, the slide. It's <laughs> the slide. My expertise. Excuse me, kind of slide. <laughs> Again, yeah, we've been literally cutting for an hour. We've almost finished two. Yep, so we've been going for an hour. We almost finished two clients. So that's good speed, and that's kind of like how I think is a perfect time to, to work with on your clients. Keep the, uh, stay focused on the time. Time, I think, is a commodity to the clients, really are focused on right now. No one wants to sit in the chair for a week. Don't necessarily want to be in the salon for a long time, not for a haircut. Maybe for a colour they have to be. Because of the change. Section across. And come this out forward. Let's have a little look and see. Elevate, wrap it around my fingers. A little bit of texture right here. So I think product wise, we're gonna probably look to our American Wave product. Yeah, I think uh, Glint might be a great product here. I also think we might use a little bit of the, uh, maybe a little bit of the cream. But again, you know, you think about your product choices, think about what you want to work into the hair. Very important. Maybe a little bit of the uh, structure might really help us in here. Work a little bit of structure, it's a styling cream, it's in our American Wave collection. A little bit of structure through the hair. Downstairs if need be. Go through the big barn door. As she goes through the door. In our academy salon here in our Soho location.
Feel good? Mm -hmm. Yep. Just a, we need to do a little bit more just around the front there. I'm going to soften this out, it's too clean. So I'm going to just splice it up a little bit. So you splice because I'm splicing the hair with the scissor. A little dry splicing. Get a little bit of separation. You can even chop into the hair to make it lighter. Never scraping dry hair. You scrape dry hair, you ruin it. Don't go too crazy. Yeah, if you go too crazy, you push it too much. Don't push it too much. Do the top splicing too. So there you go, you're just working it through. Working it through. It's like sketching with a scissor. So you'll, you'll use your eyes to have a look to see whether it's getting it where you want it to be. And then if you have done some splicing, don't forget to pick it up in your, in your fingers and kind of clean cut it a little bit. So you feel like you get that cleanness in there too. Sections are pretty thick. Gonna elevate, soften all this out. Elevate. Heather says, I love how you teach. Thanks, Heather. Well, come see us on a class. We'd love to see you on a class, Heather. Check out Erosia NYC for our academy dates. Or see us wherever we are across the country. So we're kind of hitting the spot now. It feels like we're getting close. Not already, not all, not there yet, almost. Just a little bit more. And then we'll do our reveal of both of them. I'll put some products in here. I'll show you how I'm gonna apply it. Gonna come across the top. Elevating that hair all the way up. It's all the way up. You got that, didn't you? <laughs> Nice, lots of fine cutting. It's the attention to detail. Just trying to soften up the ends. Just top in the top surface. Top surface, but I'm cutting it. I'm not splicing it. As the scissor goes in, it just chips away at the hair. I'm still holding the hair, so I'm just creating some separation. Oh, 
we start putting in products, we're just going to have a little look and see whether we feel like we're in the right place. Awesome. It feels like we're in the right place, I think. Let's do a little test. Right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this little bit of structure, which is a lightweight styling cream. Okay, it's an American Wave. Part of our collection of products for uh, textured hair. And work it in. It's a very, it's a light hole, but it's a little hole. Turn it into a, kind of a little bit, it's a cream, so you rub that cream into your hands. And I'm just gonna lightly finger it in. I'm just gonna work this into the hair a little. Nikki wants to know how often you sharpen your shears. Uh, you know what, Nikki? Not too often. I'm lucky. I usually buy a new pair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but realistically, if I was gonna, if I was sharpening over the years, once a year, maybe once now, but once every, once a year is kind of like my goal, at the most. Just work through. Can you just give me a hand here? So I'm just gonna finger in the hair a little bit more. We work it in and then what we're going to do is we're going to use a little bit of this glint, shine and texture spray. So a little bit of this in the hair, it's a great product. This is like a little, it kind of feels like a little spray wax. So you can see it just adds a little bit more control to the hair. It's calmed down the fuzziness of the hair, because hair like this gets a little bit, uh, especially when you've been combing it, you're, dis you're you know, disturbing the texture. So this helps to calm the texture down a little. Work it through, finger it in. So now I'm not trying to I'm trying to piece it out as opposed to break it out. Just, you know, always practice in different ways in which you can work with the hair. To me, I think that's a good lesson for you. For, for me, it's a good lesson just to practice, see what products actually do to the hair. Don't be scared of playing with it. I think it's important to do that. It's starting to look better already. So in here, I'm going to take this. The structure has just added a little bit of light hold. And then the glint just adds a little bit of sheen and texture. You see how it just pieces that out? Just adds a little bit more separation. So keep it with your finger, nice and loose. Through. Remember, you are working products in the hair now. Every time you move through the hair, you're putting some products in. It's that products on your hand, it's in the hair. You can see how the texture changes. A little bit piecier, a little bit more weighty with shine, definition, and texture. the back. Take that out. Great product, the Glen. Just activates the curl. Pauline says the glint is amazing and smells amazing too. It does smell good.
practice here is playing with her dry hair and product. It's kind of a great lesson for you to practice and play. Let's see, let's just change the hair straight away. Hey, fold. Donna like, says, I, like I love it. it. I like your little popcorn cup there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gotta put my earrings somewhere. <laughs> are they in there? Yeah, they're like just popped off out there. Oh, there they are, yeah. <laughs> so this hair's changed. See how we can it all the way down. Julie asks, where can I buy your products? You buy the products on arosionyc.com. Go to arosionyc and just, you'll find to purchase products and you check it out from there. Okay, let's take you both to the to the to the blue wall. Because we don't have red no red wall in here. So we're gonna start in, let's have a finish do the dry shampoo. The refinish please. Come both down here. Let's have a little look and see what we got. You like Summary. it? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Good. Okay. Just head forward for me. Just let me put a little... Yeah. This is our refinished dry shampoo. This is going to build up the bulk in the hair. What do we put in the hair here? We did um, Wait, silent this, cream. We started with cream, yeah? And now we're using that dry shampoo. Texture spray. Just gives the hair more grip. A little bit more lifting texture. So it just lives, it kind of changes the way that the hair gives it a little bit more oomph. That's what we're looking for. Volume. Uh, yeah, because you've got fine hair. Yeah, you've got fine hair and it always like so straight and weighted weight down. Yeah. <laughs> now it's nice and light. Great, stand together. <laughs> there you go. So we have our long lay with our long sweepy bang. And we have our little texture bob. And thanks for tuning in. And they're happy and they're dancing. <laughs> check us out in Philadelphia on Monday night. We'll be there. I'll check us out on Sunday at the Barbering event in Tribeca. Thanks very much.